I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. There's so much excitement in my spirit. <laughs> I love the spirit of boldness. <sighs> something is happening in our lives. You that is watching me, something is happening in your life. <laughs> yes! It is the Holy Spirit that is doing this work. Are you ready for your daily bread today? Come on now, come on now. Glory to God. With boldness, can you make this demand? Are you ready? Say it with me, Father. I demand right now my daily bread. And Lord, you know you've got to give it to me because I'm, I'm receiving it from you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We are talking about the spirit of boldness. And, and the Lord have said, this month, I'm releasing my spirit of boldness in you. Praise God. That's what I would tell this message. The spirit of boldness. Boldness. No one is going to shut you up anytime soon, brother. Ah, no, no one is shutting you down. No, 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 no one is shutting you down. I'll get there, but I I'm seeing someone right now. I couldn't pray any, sir. You are about 55 years old. The Lord is showing you to me right now. You've been a preacher for so long. But then you, you suddenly, you're feeling that your time is past. You, you are watching as though God has forgotten you. And you know you carry truth in you. And you're feeling God has forgotten you. And you're even considering shutting down your ministry and, and just go go support someone else because you, you just feel your voice is being drained. Yeah. I'm looking at you, you're 55 years old. But that's not what the Lord is saying. That's what you're thinking. I hear the Lord say, I'm renewing your spirit and I'm restoring your boldness. Oh, you, you, you did some wonderful things much, much earlier in your life. In, in your late twenties, you did some wonderful things. You, 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 you walked in the power of God in, in certain, um, village areas uh yeah you, you walked in the power of god you you saw the hand of god you saw many mighty things but somehow in 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 your mid or late 30s into your 40s you you got distracted you you know what i'm talking about you really really got distracted and and you began to do all kinds of things and and and, and those those things are actually the things that are bringing great condemnations into your heart right now yeah. There are things even your wife to whom your relationship is even shaky right now. You can't tell her. You know. See, I, I, I can't tell her this. Listen. The spirit of the, 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 the devil have filled your heart with so much fear. And he's the one that has been speaking to you. You have been thinking. You're the one thinking. But the Lord is showing me now that it's the devil that has been saying those things to you. Telling you how worthless you are. Telling you how God, the season that God wanted to use you. You remember this. You heard in your heart that the season that God wanted to use you is past. And you wasted those seasons. And, and now that, that your time has passed. That's, that's what you're hearing right now. And so you, 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 you really seek repentance in your heart. You know, you, you love the Lord. So it's not about loving the Lord. You genuinely love the Lord, but you are having an issue repenting, not because you're so much into what you were doing before, but, but you just, you're like a prodigal son right now trying to decide, can I go home? Will I be accepted? And that's what I brought you to this conclusion that maybe I should just shut down what I'm doing and go work for someone else. This is what the Lord is saying to you. And if you believe me, then receive his word into your life. I hear the Lord say, I'm not done with you. 
I hear the Lord say, I'm not done with you. There is an assignment that I have set in this season of your life that I want to connect you with. But if you will just turn your heart fully and believe me now, says the Spirit of the Lord, I'm restoring the glory that I gave to you. That you turned away from. I didn't take my glory. You turned away from my glory. And now if you will turn again, I for it again, you will see that glory restored in your life. And, and I hear the Spirit of God say, if you will just lift up your hand right now, you, you know, you know. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's something happening inside of you right now. Sir, thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, Kamanda Pranada Just enjoy the presence of the Lord, sir. Enjoy the presence of the Lord. Enjoy the presence of the Lord. But I, I, I tell you what the Lord is saying to you. He's restoring you completely. He's restoring you. You are like Samson that your hair is growing again right now. Your hair is growing again. Listen to me. I, come in. I, I see the power of God all over you right now. I'm watching you like, like, like I'm watching a screen. I, I'm seeing the power of God going through you right now. You are actually shaking and, and, and just all over the place right now. now that's the dealing of the Spirit of God. Yes, because this is recorded. I'll just tell you what the Spirit of God is telling you so you can watch it later. Praise God. Listen to me. You will go back and preach the same messages you've been preaching. And this time... There's going to be a difference. You're going to see the power of God expressed through your words. You're going to see God dealing, bringing people out of bondage. Your eye come up right there. Nothing, nothing will change in your message. You are going to speak that word with boldness. That boldness that has been restored in your heart right now. Now, what's going on? This, this is the Spirit of God that's filling you afresh. Thank you, Jesus. Enjoy that Spirit of God and rise up and go back to your duty post and speak that word with boldness. And I, I see God restoring the signs. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I see God restoring the signs that you were working with when you were in your late 20s. Yes. Yes. I hear the Lord say, you, you will see those things restore, restored in your life. I come in accurately. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. What a blessed man you are, sir. You are so blessed. Praise God. You are so blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's restoring you. He's restoring you. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are so good. You are so good. You are so good. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I, I see international doors even opening for you. It's like God is renewing your walk with him. Thank God for his word. Praise God. Thank God for his word. Acts chapter 4. Praise God. This is so beautiful. As though you just can't be here right now. But we've got to move on. Acts chapter 4 and verse 29. The disciples were praying. I shared with you yesterday. They were in focus on their enemies. They were in focus on the people that are trying to stop them. They were focused on God and dealing with them directly. So they didn't pray, oh God, kill them, destroy them, take away their voice, take away their authority. No, no, no. They said, Lord, thank you, Jesus. And now, Lord, behold their threatening and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. There's, there's a lot of restoration God is doing. I, I, the partner. I'm seeing a lady. You're about 42, going to 43. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You've always desired to walk in, in the power of God. And 
I see you discouraged. And you're discouraged because you feel that you love ministry. You're, you're involved with ministry. But there's a craving that you have had for many years and that have driven you to pray, that have driven you to different places because you want to walk in the power of God. And now you're really, really getting discouraged because you're beginning to feel God is not answering your prayers. So you're like, maybe this thing doesn't work. At some point, you're even considering maybe it's all lies. But you're really, really in a place of discouragement right now. And because of that discouragement, all kinds of evil thoughts are going through your mind. The Lord is saying to you, I, I want to bless you. But you've got to first of all submit your thoughts to me and completely. Because in your mind, the reason you want to walk in power is because of people, not because of the Lord. You want to walk in power so that people will know that you too carry power. So it's more like it's for show. And the Lord said, that's why I've restricted you from these things. And, 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 and there are times the Lord has brought this to your mind, but, but you still go back to it. And, and I'm hearing the Lord because right now you are in so great a place of discouragement. And, and the Lord is saying, I should tell you this, submit to me. Submit to me. That's what the Lord is saying to you. Submit to the Lord. And do all things for his name's sake, not for your image. I'll tell you how far you've thought. In the days you were seriously asking for the power of God, you were thinking of how to get cameras and things to record it. Now that's where the disappointment is coming from. Like God failed. He didn't fail. You were doing it for show. But that's not how God works. And because he loves you genuinely, he wants you to do it right. So God did not forget you. God did not, uh, God, God, it's not like God is not answering your prayer. But the problem is you need to renew your mind concerning these things that you're asking the Lord. Can I tell you something now? If you will go before the Lord three days and the three days fast, fast of consecration, and, and just open your heart to the Lord and say, Lord, I, I, now I'm telling you by the wisdom of God right now. Please, please listen. This is the wisdom of God I'm giving you. If you go before the Lord and with all sincerity, say, Lord, I just love you. Whether you give me, allow me to walk in your power or not, I know you are real and I love you for who you are. Within those three days, the Spirit of God will begin to give you certain instructions that will put a restriction on your life for what you're asking for. I, I, I said the Lord is giving you boundaries, things to not do, and those things will put you in check. And then He will release the power of God into your life. Three days. If you will do this, you will see the glory of God. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isn't this just amazing? Praise <laughs> God. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Verse 29. And I told you something. When we look into the word, we hear. We don't read the word. We hear the word. <laughs> Praise God. And now, Lord, behold, I that dear threatenings. Behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak thy word. There's something about this, this, this scripture. When I read and I lift up my head, I'm beginning to see things. <laughs> Praise God, Lord, help us. Hmm. Help us, Lord. 
it appears the Lord is restoring a lot of people in this season. I, he keeps showing me the. I'm seeing a young man, a preacher. And there's a particular association of preachers you're trying to get into. Because you feel they are going to give you exposure. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, don't. Don't. You will be exposed to the wrong things and the wrong places. You're a young preacher. You, you, you are in your 20s. You love the Lord. You want to do ministry. And there's, there's, there's an association. Um, there's a group of people and you, you, you're just telling yourself you want to get involved and you've already started talking to one or two of them about it. The Lord is saying, don't go in that direction. Now, there are things the Lord is showing me about it, but I don't have to tell you that. But, but hear the word of the Lord. Because if you obey the Lord, then he will show you why. It's not for me to start telling you why. That will, that will be, I mean, like putting fear in your heart. But if you will obey the Lord, you will begin to see why. In a few months' time, you will see why. And you will be glad. You know, we are watching right now. You, you want to join a certain group of preachers. Because you feel they will give you the right exposure. But the Lord is saying, you don't need that. You don't need that. Spend time with me, says the Lord, and my word. And I'll take you to the places you ought to be. And I'll give you the exposure that I have prepared and determined for you. Yes. I, I pray your heart will hear and receive this one. It will save your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. Yeah, he says, and now, how you come here? Yeah. Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. By stretching forth thy hands to heal, the anointing of God's spirit is just so strong. And it, it, it's just so strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, if you're sick in your body, let, let's, let's, let's just use this anointing for something good. If you're sick in your body right now, whatever it is, because I, I say the Lord, it, this, is, this is heavy. From your eyes, to your legs, to your organs. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is, there is someone watching me right now. You, I think you've been seen a new, new Laura, new, what do you call it now? A brain doctor. And there's a condition you have that have to do with your nerves. So you have to see the neurologist. Okay. And you are already beginning to feel you're going to live with this condition. But God did not say so. Can you receive your healing right now? Can you receive your healing right now? Father, touch them now. Touch them now. Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Touch them now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I speak to your brains. I speak to your nerves. I speak to your organs. I speak to your heart. I speak to your liver. I speak to your kidneys. I speak to every organ of your body. I speak to your eyes. Be restored to wholeness. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be restored to wholeness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be made whole right now. Be made whole. In Jesus' name. 
stench. Arthritis gone from you. Get up now and begin to walk. Get up now and begin to exercise your feet. Get up, get up, stretch those legs, walk around. It's gone from you in the name of Jesus. The contraction of your muscles, that condition gone from you right now, completely gone. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every condition that is not consistent with the word of God, I speak the word of God to you right now. Be healed, be made whole now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, get up. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just, just go about. Do what you couldn't do before. And, and give God praise for his mighty work that he has been doing. Glory to God. And it's permanent. Yes, it will never come back. In Jesus' name. Amen. My time is up. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we just give you praise. Give him praise. Just give him praise. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.